Okay, apparently if I frame it in a way that Brett will... Hey, this says, Always remember that the actor should be treated with respect. A director gives guidance and support. The director is not a dictator. That's fine. Do you want me to do it again? Yeah, no. I see. That's last year. Hey guys, I was uh, trying to figure out what we should do for Grandma for Christmas. I was thinking maybe like a chia pet of Donald Trump's head. What about like a gift card to McDonald's or? Free hug gift card. Hot hands, like the heated things that you wear in your gloves. Or like a Barbara Streisand essential CD. Maybe a Build-A-Bear. A back massager. Eddie Murphy's best movies. Or, or maybe those scissors that you write your name on. Maybe like a comforter with all her grandkids on it. Or, or like Minions, like footy pajamas. A black light. A life-size replica of her made out of pistachios. Or like the Obama family calendar. Another black light? Or what about like a Spice Girl CD? Well, I don't know. I know she does like the uh, the home movies that we have. She likes watching those. Hey, what if we burn them onto a DVD so she can watch it on her DVD player? Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good idea. It'll take a little while for me to load them all onto the computer, but... Um, I can do that. I can do that right now. Jana, you know how to do that? Nick, five years of community theater has taught me at least one thing. How to burn a VHS onto a DVD. Okay. But right now? John, can I ask you a serious question? Yeah, Mick. Can you be completely honest? Mick, I promise. I'll be honest with you. Why did they make this movie? Actually, Mick, that's a, that's a longer story than you'd expect. The director was going through- John, I did it! Oh, you mean you just got it started? No, I did it. It's all done. They're, they're all burned. Gianna, you, you burned all the home videos on a DVD? Yeah, all of them. I burned them all. Gianna, let me get this straight. Did you actually burn all the home videos on top of a DVD? Yes. Oh, wait! I think I got an idea. Yeah, me too. No, for Grandma's gift. Oh, all right. The home videos, we could just recreate them with all the cousins. Does that mean we're gonna need her too? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't want to start an argument. But Jana, we hate you. Yeah, I know, but do you, are you just gonna, oh, okay, so you're just um, yeah. Luckily, Mom already had a list made of all of the home videos, so let me just go through some of the list. Mick, Jana, if you guys think of any props or costumes we're gonna need, just write them down now. Need to buy pen and paper. Okay, um, we're gonna need one for first time we go to Joseph's Field. Oh, Joseph's Field, we're gonna need Joseph Field hats and a wig for Uncle Bob. Uh, my first birthday. Classic. Absolute Gotta have that classic. one. Classic. One of my favorites. We're gonna need cake, presents, and we're gonna need a wig for dad. And Uncle Don's 30th. How about this? We reuse the cake and the presents, and we don't need a wig for Uncle Don. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Any quarters we can cut, let's cut them now. How fortunate are we that he's always been bald? Well, let's keep going through this list, and uh, if you want to start, I think we should start a musical montage right now. We're gonna need- Alright, right, right, here we go. We're gonna need a musical montage, cause Jenna burned all the movies. We're gonna have to recreate them, and none of this part rhymes. Props for you, props for me, props for everybody. A candlestick, a beret. A military soldier's rifle. Casting, casting, this process is everlasting. Should I get Matt back? Is Monica sure can act? Jana, why are you casting anyone? They're just gonna play themselves. Oh. Filming with the cousins and we're sticking to the plan. 
keep Jan away from that camera, or we'll have to film that again. Filming the DeFrancos is all we'll ever need. We have to finish these videos, cause it's almost Christmas Eve. What? Yeah, really. Cause it's almost Christmas Eve. We'll be right back to the Franco Christmas movie after this short commercial break. All right, make sure we take out this conversation we're having about me leaning on something. Make sure I'm leaning on it looks pretty real. Okay? Will do. Cool. Hey, folks, I'm Jesse DeFranco, and I'm asking for your vote for President of the United States of America. I, I think when it comes to running this country, we can all agree that my life experience speaks for itself. Graduated high school in 2009, thanks to the help of a lot of tutors and special needs people. Uh, come to think of it, back in the 11th grade, I won the most improved award from taking my grade point average up from a solid 0.2 to a one point. We celebrated by getting a McDonald's. My teacher said I could order off the dollar menu anything I wanted, and I did. But I think what I want to tell you is that we don't need another dollar menu candidate. And that's what Matt Eager is. He wants to serve you up the dollar menu. And we've had enough dollar menu in the past with pre presidents. I'm Jesse DeFranco, and I approve this message. It's the Pine Brothers here with another huge car sale! These deals are massive! We have so many new cars, we gotta get rid of the old one! Stop getting agery with the other car dealers. Ah! <laughs> Come down here and get DeFrank going in a nice new SUV! Look at all these great cars we got for sale down here. Great. These prices are so low, this baby could reach them. We're the Clan Brothers, and are you kidding me? Hello, America. I'm Matt Ager, your candidate for President of the United States. My opponent says he orders from the dollar menu. And I say, why stop there? Jesse DeFranco is only going to give you a dollar to spend at McDonald's? What kind of a man does that? Get yourself a McFlurry. Get yourself some fries and a burger. I won't stop you there. Jesse DeFranco, he's trying to cut America off at a dollar. I'm Matt Ager, and I approve this message. Welcome back to the DeFranco Christmas movie. We're only halfway through the list, and it's almost Christmas Eve. Yeah, we're, we're just going to have to hope that Grandma doesn't realize that all the home videos are missing. Oh, one second. I think Grandma's calling. Hello? John, I wanted to call you about Christmas Eve. Yeah, Grandma, I'm super excited. We're gonna we're gonna all get together, you know, like we always do. Well, why why are you calling? I was thinking if we could watch the home videos after dinner. What a what a great idea! Uh, what an impeccable timing for you to have this idea, Grandma. To right now, <laughs> of all the all the other times in history, you could have wanted to watch the home videos, and this moment is what you decided on. Wow, that's. So good! Ah, I'm happy! I'm happy! That's great! That's really good! Okay, thanks. That would mean a lot to me. It would mean a lot to you. That's great! Okay, well, <laughs> it's gonna mean a lot to well, you know that we're gonna have them ready. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna bring them because it's important for you, Grandma. All right, sounds good, John. I'll see you Christmas Eve. Yeah, see you then too! <laughs> Bye, Grandma! Bye. Bye. We'll be right back to the Franco Christmas movie after this short commercial break. There's been a lot of talk lately between myself and my opponent, Matt Ager, about money and dollars. And, and what I want to say is, I think it's time to update the money. You know, let's change the pictures on there. Right now, we got presidents on there. Like, uh, Washington, Lincoln is on one of the dollars. Washington's on presidents on the, on the Washington's on one. Let's update the dollars to get more cool faces on there. And here's what I'm proposing. Five dollar bill, Usher. Let's put Usher on the five dollar bill. Someone who's really had some cool contributions to America. How about someone else like R. Kelly? 
He's never done anything wrong. Let's put him on a dollar. <laughs> I'm Jesse DeFranco, and what you're getting with me is R&B singers on dollars. Let's see you top that, Matt Ager. I'm Jesse DeFranco, and I approve this message. You've had a long, hard day at work. It's time to kick back and relax and indulge in some fine chocolates. So fine, only Ager could provide them. Ager. Made with rich... Whoa. That was, that was just weird. Um... But anyway, made with some r really... What is it? What Are you... For a second one already? Really? Come on. These are... These are... These are slow. Is he... Are you... Are, is he... Is he grinding it open with his teeth? Oh, come on. All right. This is... This is just disgusting. No. No, I mean it. This is sick. Is this commercial over yet? No? No? Really? More. More. Really? Uh, okay. A cheese grater? That's... That's just way too far. He's, it, most of it's falling on the ground. He's, uh, this, is, this is high quality chocolate, people. Ager Indulgent Chocolate. Ager. R&B singers, on the dollars, get real, Jesse DeFranco. I'm Matt Ager, and I'm here to tell you, if I'm elected president, I will not put R&B singers on the dollars. I'll pick a much cooler genre of music. We'll go with rock and roll. I'm talking Bon Jovi, I'm talking Miley Cyrus, I'm talking Pink Floyd, the most American band of all time, the Beatles. R&B singers, not in my country. I'm Matt Ager and I approve this message. Welcome back to the DeFranco Christmas movie. Matt, 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 please come here. Matt, John, please come here. Please come here. Matt, please come here. What is this? Where's heart and soul? I I told you, John. Where's the I can't. hat? Where's your Santa hat? Look, John. I told you this. I can't do it this year. I got my election to think about. You know, I I get it's it's fun. It's great, and I, I love what you're doing here, John. But it, I mean, I can't I can't be going out. You know, sticking my hand in cold water. You know, it, it's not. I I got my image to think about this year, John. Matt, Matt. I'm sorry. Why are you running for president? To be just another another one of the same politicians? Or are you trying to be that same well, guy that knows where his heart actually look, is? You don't want Jesse to be the president, do you? I'm not saying okay. either. I'm well, not look, taking sides right now. Look, when I'm in that ballot box, I'll make my decision. Look, I'm going to be in the movie Financial Support. You know, you put my products... And we're very grateful yeah, for that. Yeah. But I, I, need, you know, I need that. I don't just need your wallet, wherever that is. I can hold on to it if you want. But I also need your heart. I need the Matt heart. The A your heart. Okay. Alright, fine. 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 But if this sees the light of day, me doing the things, like... This what? will never get out to anyone. I mean, is Jesse doing this even? Jesse's... I'm gonna get Jesse crawling on a garage floor shirtless. Oh. Don't yeah. you worry. Don't you worry. I got your back, man. That'd be, that'd be good for the election. Yeah, what's happening? What is this? I, okay. Alright, get out of here. Get out there. Get out there, you. Alright. You, you owe me, John. John, I was looking for the script that got me shirtless in scene two. I was wondering if maybe there's a way we can do a little bit of a rewrite before we uh, move on. You hear I finished my novel in November that I was working on for NaNoWriMo? Yeah, it's great. Now it's done, I could free up a lot more time to work on my novels and my cosplays and stuff. A lot of time to watch, you know, some Doctor Who and stuff like that. Don't give me that look. That stuff's awesome. You're looking at me like I'm kind of, kind of nerd, you know? John, have a Snickers. Why? You get a little mad eager when you're hungry. Ouch. Better? Better. Let's make this Christmas movie now. <laughs> we'll be right back to the Franco Christmas movie after this short commercial break. Who knows what's going on in Matt Eager's head when he listens to Pink Floyd. It's downright lunacy if you ask me. So I'm going to tell you what I am. I'm not culture. Artistic? You should see my drawings. What you're going to get with me is a normal guy of minimal talent who will work hard for you when it's suitable for me to do so. What you're getting with me, America, is a fun guy that you can relate to and maybe think you're better than. <laughs> so vote for me, Jesse DeFranco. I'm Jesse DeFranco, and I approve this message. Let me just say this. Jesse DeFranco is very talented. Don't listen to his lies. Have you seen him act? It's incredible. But that's not the point. What Jesse DeFranco is is another fat cat. He overfeeds that cat so much, I swear, it must go to the vet three times a month. 
it, it's, it's horrible. I mean, it's huge. It's the biggest cat I've ever seen in my life. But aside from that, Jesse is just, he's just wrong. He's wrong for America. I'm Matt Ager, and I approve this message. What is it that champions have that you don't have? Is it more strength? More of a drive? More determination? No. They were born with a champion's heart, and you don't have one. But, thanks to Matt Ager, you can take one. Transplants by Ager. I'll give you the heart of a champion. My cat is not too fat, okay? I have consulted many veterinarians about this who say my cat is at a healthy weight. You know who's too fat for America? John Candy. All right, hold my glass. <laughs> and Matt Ager and no! copy of Cool Runnings and Uncle Buck. You are a lying piece of garbage. This country will be in ruins with you. You country loves me. This country loves me. You ugly. Ugly. I'm not ugly, I'm adequate at best! I'm Matt Ager and I approve this message. I'm Jesse DeFranco and I approve this message. Well, that is Celebrate the Child. If I have to watch Liz eat another booger in my life, I will die. Alright, what's left? Um, that's it. That's everything on the list? Really? Yeah, that's all of them. Wow. Well, that was quite an adventure, guys. Ooh, yeah. It was intense, I know, but it was kind of nice just getting back to our roots, remembering why we all do this yeah. for Grandma and for our family. Yeah. Yeah, they were pretty good, too. Almost as good as the originals. Jenna, what is that? Oh, this? Well, I thought it was kind of weird that you guys wanted me to burn all the home videos, so I put them on this DVD first. Oh, you... You backed up all the old, all the old home videos before you burned them. Yeah. So we had those all the, the whole time. We didn't have to do any of this then. Not, not really. No. Oh. oh. You're not gonna kill you. Well, ain't that just a DeFranco ending? <laughs> <laughs> Man.